Hey guys, I sketched this part on the wrong plane and I'm going to show you how to fix this if you have this problem. I want this part to be standing up on this face here. And right now it's standing up on this face here. So let's fix that. We're going to be fixing this with a second coordinate system. I'm going to choose this face here. I'm going to click sketch. and I'm going to make one. And then I'm going to come here and choose a center line. I'm going to click right here. And I just want it to snap. See, into 90 degrees. And then I'll make another one right here. And that's it. That's good enough for our sketch. We're going to click the exit sketch button here. And now I'm going to go to features, reference geometry, and click this arrow. And I'm going to click on coordinate system. And here we're going to take a look at our default isometric. So Y is straight up and I want this direction to be straight up instead. So I want my Z to be my new Y. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click here where it says Y axis and I'm going to click on this line and it'll show you down here what it's trying to do. So now it's pointing the Y in the, that direction. I don't like that so I'm going to reverse it. So now the Y is pointing up. Really everything else looks fine. Y, X, Z and that looks fine to me. If your X is pointed in the wrong direction you could select this. Mine isn't so it doesn't really matter. So but that's what it looks like. And now I'm going to click check. So it created another coordinate system here. I've tried this a couple of times so it says coordinate system 3 for me. Now we're going to export this part with respect to this coordinate system. Click on your gear icon for options. Go down to export. You want to change your file format to IGES. Down here where it says output coordinate system, you're going to click on coordinate system 3. If you only have one coordinate system, that'll be the only other option. Click OK. And now we're going to go File, Save As. We're going to click on this drop down as the type. We're going to go to IGES. And I already have one here, but I'm going to replace it. So I'll replace it there. And now it's replaced. So how do we check if this worked? Click on File, Open. And then we see this here. Sometimes this will be automatically selected. It'll only open part files and stuff. What you can do is just change that to IGES so it'll find it. Or you can change it to all files. IGES is here. I'm going to open this. And now it's opening it. Don't want to run import diagnostics. It's not necessary. And now as you can see, this is in the correct orientation. So this bottom face ended up being what it's standing on. So that works for me. I hope this was helpful. Thanks for watching.